How's it going everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be working on replacing my old snail armor tailgate insert. This flat one, it made putting drinks on super easy. It's not tilty or anything. But we're going to be replacing that with a BPF tailgate insert. It's like a tailgate storage system. Let me just go crack it open for you guys and then we'll get to installing it. So this is how it's going to be shipped to you straight from Canada, Canada, the guys over at BPF. I saw them post it on Instagram and I was just like, dude, I need one of those. Hit them up. They got them sent over really quick. And yeah, let's just get to cracking. Comes with two locks. Ooh. Dang, that looks kind of sick. I might just leave it raw. So these do come raw. It's just raw aluminum. Uh, you can paint it however which way you want to paint it. But I kind of like the way it looks raw. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. So I'm going to put this to the side for now. And then we'll get to removing the old tailgate insert uh, I'm not gonna go too deep into how to install it because BPF already has a really deep install guide on it I'll leave the link down below for anyone that's interested in that I'm just gonna show you guys how easy it is to do tailgate insert is just a few Phillips heads as well as some torque screws in the front these are all OEM you're gonna throw the OEM screws back on for this so if you're doing this install keep all your OEM tailgate insert stuff because you're going to use it on that one. Imagine using hand tools in 2023. Nice and dirty. If it's looking kind of dirty in here right now, at this point, I would clean it just because you're gonna be marking stuff and then we're also gonna be putting some insulation and stuff in here. So all this needs to be kind of clean. If the inside of your tailgate isn't dirty, you need to go out and touch some grass. <laughs> also, I would probably suggest adding some trim just some trim guards to these little areas here. Uh, here, 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 all the edges. Because they are a little sharp and if you're not paying attention, you can cut yourself on this. Um, yeah, there's also, you can also cut this whole area out, but it does change the structure of your tailgate. So it's not really, that's not on me, that's on you guys. You guys can cut this whole, like all this sheet metal can be cut off and the whole thing can be used as a storage unit you can put longer stuff in there if you want but don't listen to me on that it'll change the structure of your tailgate just know that if you do that take your insert line up the holes what i would probably do is line up this, these holes as well as you can and then probably put these two in these two screws in partially just to help keep it where it needs to be and then we're gonna do some marking so now with this on just like this you can kind of tell easy access to the tailgate easy easy peasy so from here after you made sure that your holes line up pretty well Double check it, triple check it, make sure everything lines up. Quadruple check it, do everything. Make sure you check this very, very well. Cause we're gonna go into marking this out. Just gonna pop this up and then you're gonna follow this with a sharpie all the way down. And 
And then you're gonna mark where every bolt is. Don't worry about marking it up with a permanent marker because you could just take it off with some alcohol swabs or rubbing alcohol. It just comes off. So from here, after you've done your marking up, you can take this off. You're gonna pull your insert off and then we're gonna do some more marking and then we're gonna do some drilling. So if you're following their guide, I know it wasn't gonna get into it too much, but if you're following their guide, the first mark you have made is the bottom of the hinge and then you measure a quarter inch up and this is gonna be the opposite side of the hinge. So you're basically just tracing both sides of the hinge here all the way down and then you're gonna mark a quarter inch from the bottom there for your first nut and then a quarter inch from the top one. And then those are gonna be your holes that you're gonna make. I marked out all the holes that I'm going to be drilling. It's quite a few. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and punch them really quick and then get some alcohol to remove the markings and then get to drilling. So of course with my luck it starts raining, but anyways, I'm just gonna go through, take off all of this marking, start drilling them out, buddies, buddy guy friends. So I'm gonna go ahead and step my way up through the bits. I'm gonna end at a five sixteenths. 5 16th drill bit. This is about the same width or same diameter as the bolt setter over there. If you end up putting it on and it's not sitting flat still, you might have to go one size bigger, but this is about the same size as the bolts on the insert. Uh, if you measured your stuff out correctly, it should just all fall into place. If not, just step up to the higher, a bigger drill bit. show it but I went through and I shot vacuumed it I just hit it with the vacuum it was super loud so it doesn't really matter I don't think you guys want to watch me vacuum anyways but make sure you get in there like deep in there because you don't want to be grabbing stuff and then be like oh I have a metal splinter because that's gonna suck so once you have this all drilled out you can test fit your insert and then if it doesn't lay flat you might have to drill out some of these holes a little bit bigger whichever ones you can see that are causing your insert to not sit flat lift it up look under see which ones aren't lining up whichever ones are making it so it's not sitting flat once you have it all figured out it should be sitting flat there shouldn't be any gaps on the side you should to you should be able to then put the OEM bolts back in and then work on installing the locks so it's been a minute I forgot to hit record but 
I just went ahead and sprayed down all the stuff that's going to be showing with some Flex Seal. Um, yeah, I didn't have anything else. I would have used like plastic tip or something like that, but this is fine. Looks cool. Kind of looks like bed liner because it's kind of cold out here, so it came out chunky. But whatever, it's gonna look. It'll look. It'll look fine when it's covered. This is a ten foot, ten footer, hundred um, percent. I'm just gonna put the sound denner in there. You could use foam here. BPF just did a video. They used foam and it looks way better. But I have some extra sound denner in my house somewhere so i'm just gonna use that instead it's some some super thick stuff it's like 10 millimeters so if anything i will just leave that in the description so this is the sound editor that i'm using it's it's thick pretty sure it's about 10 millimeters i think that's what it was when i bought it a while back but i'm just gonna slide it in and then just cover up as much ground as i can with it and then if i need to do cutting then i'll do some cutting whoops forgot to record again but most of these panels kind of just like already fit in. Not a lot of trimming to do here, at least on my end. So I went through, just threw some sound dampening in there. As you saw, it's basically just so when you put stuff in there, kind of lessens the amount of rattle you're gonna get in there. Doesn't have to be nice in my opinion. It's all gonna be covered anyways. So I just went ahead and threw it on, cured enough for me. I'm not, it looks fine. <laughs> it looks dry enough for me. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and put these in and then we're gonna go ahead and install the locks. So here it is on. I just went ahead and put all the OEM bolts back in looks pretty good. I kind of want to keep it raw. It looks tight like this. But let me know down in the comments what you guys think. Maybe I should paint it black? Who's feeling this raw color? So, pop it open. Got all that. Painted the whole inside. Black. And yeah, let's just get to installing these locks. So when you buy your tailgate insert, it comes with two locks. Two, count them, two. I'm pretty sure these are the same ones they used on the GFC. I'm like 99% sure. So the locks were pretty much just like the GFC locks. You just press this button, lock comes out. Just gonna go ahead and throw that in. And then our toolkit. Keys, more keys. Just gonna go ahead and pop this up. This goes here. Take a little nut. Nut in. Take a screwdriver. Time that bad boy in. It's not going anywhere. Same thing with the other side. From here, you can adjust how tight you want your lock to be up against this right here. It's just the 10 millimeter here and here. Not a 10 millimeter, eight millimeter. On the bottom, I lied, sorry. A little bit too much. It's not going anywhere. Flat there flat there actually, so we're good on both sides. Go ahead and tighten this down. So just to give you guys an idea of how much you could fit in here realistically, I kind of filled it up to where I wanted it to be. I have my whole hose system in here. This is a four hose system. Uh, main hose in there, some straps. A, another tire to play kit in there and then all my water port stuff is in here that is about it a lot of unused space now being used which I like I like having a bunch of storage and it's nice that's lockable um, yeah 
pretty nice. Um, one thing to note though, is when you do put stuff back here, it makes this tailgate a lot heavier. So I'd be mindful about what stuff you put back here. And then also you can't just let the tailgate fall like how it used to. Since there's weight back here, it's just gonna drop as fast as it can. So I would definitely guide it down if you are gonna be doing this. You know, before I used to be able to just let it drop and then it would slowly come down. Now I would guide it just because there's a little bit more weight in there. And yeah, it's pretty, pretty, pretty nifty. So as always, if you guys have any comments, questions, or concern, leave them down in the comment section. I will get back to you as soon as I can. If you guys like this, it's pretty dope. Hit that like button. And if you guys want to see more of this stuff, I'm hoping we can get out sometime soon. But if you guys want to see more stuff, make sure to hit that subscription button. See you guys in the next one. Peace.